The Pack County Commission meeting focused on future growth. The plan hasn't been updated in two decades, and Commission is facing a fast approaching deadline to pass it. And late tonight, Commission did vote to move ahead with that plan drawn up and backed by the mayor's office. A second plan also given a thumbs up by Commission will offer the specific rules of how to best use the land in the growth plan. Tenders reporter Aaron Velasquez is joining us now with more from commissioners who say doing nothing, Aaron, was no option. That's right, John. Katie, the Advanced Knox Growth Policy passed its first hurdle tonight. Commissioners approving the plan, but not after they heard input from the community and discussed it among themselves for hours. The map, which uh, the map with uh, which outlines the future of land decisions in Knox County, has been met with criticisms from members of Knoxville's rural communities. I spoke with one farmer who says he's speaking out for his children and their future farming in Knox County. I hope that the rural character of Northeast Knox County is still here for the seventh, eighth, maybe ninth generation and those who live here already. Thompson says his farm dates back to 1840 and is at risk of losing its rural atmosphere if and when this plan is approved. Commissioner Larson Jay says Monday night's vote is a culmination of years of work done to bring this plan to the table. We've continued to have public input for the last several years that we've gone through this. Everybody kind of looks at it as a just-in-time vote today, but we really started this process almost three years ago, and we've constantly engaged with the public all along the way. But at some point, you have to finish that work, you have to vote, you have to move to the next stage. Commissioner Jay adds that Monday night's decision will set the tone for the next 20 to 40 years of growth in Knox County. The plan is set to be voted on by the Knoxville and Farragut leaders and has to be approved by the state by late May. This pushed commissioners to act on the decision now rather than later. Also in tonight's meeting, commissioners voted to approve renaming a stretch of East Emory Road to honor U.S. Army Specialist Jeremy Daniel Evans, a graduate of Gibbs High School who was killed in a training incident in Alaska last, last October. The resolution now goes to the State Senate and House for approval. John, Katie, I'll send, th I'll send things back to you in the studio. Aaron, thank you.